times Well, we post it every Friday See them corner emojis, then you know a nigga wildin' J to Gemini to the day I die And I'ma talk my shit, but I don't play both sides with you nah. YouTube couple we're back, but unlike yeah, the other highlights, the Daniel, unlike the other highlights, I got to come in with a disclaimer. I'm sorry. I love you to pieces, but we got to come in with a disclaimer. That's Look, a we're it. not about to be showing no clips. Usually we show clips and stuff, but Balls. we do our podcast every Friday and there has been about like five court days. Okay. So I'm going to need you friend. Um, to go ahead and look up what we talk about because we're only going to show one video that is relevant to the most recent court date as of when we're recording and we're just going to talk about everything else so yeah that is my disclaimer because i know people are used to us like you know disclaimer. breaking stuff down that we can find but it's just a little too much we're and we hope wall. that if you clicked on this you already are somewhat up to speed right you gotta you gotta know what's going on at least a little bit right so, I'm, it's great, AJ. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna start this off a little bit. Hey, here, press I'll, the end button. Yeah, I'll put it on me so you can do you over here. Get our refreshments together. I think I need a little bit more. After Sorry, this. I'm a little uh slanted towards the side, but it's okay. Um, so the trial began with Meg doing an opening statement, right? Um, and Meg's statement was basically saying that. The whole argument started over her coming for him as an artist. Yes, she says she was coming for his bars, his whatever. So she's trying to really play the uh, Napoleon. Like, bro, he, he was mad. Yeah. He said, I'm bi-. He was hating and he was jealous. That's what she's trying to say. So. <laughs> freaking. Oh, that's an insider. Meg behind said that and she did state that uh tori pew pewed her i'm saying i'm trying to keep it censored because youtube rules we got to keep it cute until after three minutes but (laughs) y'all y'all get the drift um (laughs) and they just said that was that and he needs to be held accountable he has residue on him which was a shocker because as of before we were told that he did not and no it was shown that he did. You know the prosecution's always going to keep a little bit of some something, something. Yeah, to themselves. Though. Right, right. Just like they did in the last thing. And I, I think that's the... Unfortunately, I think that's going to have to be the motif tonight is like uh, pleading the fifth don't always save you. But mm-hmm. uh, residue ain't good. No. It's not good. But word on the street is not only one person got residue on. Yeah. So listen. So so in come in, you know, in uh, defense to that, Tori came on, and I will admit, even though I do believe Tori did pew pew Meg. Oh damn! I will sides now. Look, I just want to say I can admit that his legal team is a one because they did such a successful cross that the internet has completely shifted the narrative and forgotten who sh- who pew pewed who, okay? <gasps> and now they're just talking about who <gasps> did what and who was lying and who uh <gasps> was the third party. So, okay, not to jump ahead. All right. Tori's defense stated that that's not all that happened, and Meg is really dumbing down the situation. The argument happened because Meg and Kelsey, her best friend, were in cahoots with Tori, which I believe. They were smashed. Um, my opinion. They was getting it in. And you say then, that's, you, you. I do believe that they were in a little situation because um, that's just my opinion. I mean, from what I've seen publicly, so Meg tri- is hey. very uh. Uh, sexually liberated. We are past that mark, so I'm gonna just say that. Nah, don't even. They don't. They don't like us. No, I'm not gonna use any profanity. I'm just saying she is a liberated woman. She's not. You know, it is what it is. Liberated. I Um, like that, Naj. That's that's very eloquent right there, Naj. That's very eloquently. But my thing that I don't like is that Tori's defense is trying to pit the fact that Kelsey also has gunpowder on her and because of that it's kind of like insinuated that she could have pulled the you know what's crazy when 
uh, when people get drunk, sometimes they like discharging firearms. You know That's Kelsey's defense. It's funny you said that. She just keeps saying we were drunk. We were drunk when she had to take the stand. They probably had. They it were in like, the car. so what's? I was intoxicated. I don't know. I just think I just cracked what their defense might be. They might be on the side of we were all playing around, and an accident happened, and everybody was slizzed. See, because that would explain the truth. how that. Did Look, that's not Tyron? their defense. No, because they're also saying they're trying to pin it. Tori's defense is trying to pin it on Kelsey because mm-hmm. they said that Kelsey and Meg got out the car and started arguing. That's and there seen. are multiple witnesses that said they did see and hear them arguing outside the car. Everything that I saw also was stating along the lines of... Um, not only was there an argument, but the fact that Kelsey's story changed recently. She's pleading the fifth. Remember I brought up pleading the Kelsey fifth? Kelsey pleading the fourth. <laughs> hey, dog. She, is she? Uh, yeah, she says she pled the fourth and people online were making fun of her. Right, and then you looked up. Unreasonable seizure. No, right? and then you looked up what the fourth was and it was unreasonable seizure. And it was because they were trying to get a hold of her phone. Mm. So, okay, now we're going to fast forward a little bit. They did get a hold of Kelsey's phone, and the judge ordered to release not only her text messages, but her um, previous testimony that she made, like, recently after the incident. Right, where she police. said that, bro. Blah! Yes. Blah! She said a lot of stuff. But she also no, tried to, like... But she also said on the stand that some of the things Blah! she said in that recording was a lie. So she's not looking like a credible witness either way. I have the prediction that they probably gonna throw this out. It's too it's kangaroo court at this point. Kelsey is really messing up this case because now the whole public perception is anti Kelsey when the reality is Kelsey is not the celebrity here. So that would be an easy scapegoat. That's how I feel personally. If I was Tory's lawyer, I would have been like, Did Meg's wrist get dusted? And if not I would have been like, Tori, this is what we about to do. Y'all was all playing around with that thing. Kelsey did it. Yeah. That's that um, devil's advocate in me right there. Because if she didn't get dusted, beyond a reasonable doubt, how can you prove that old girl didn't do that to her? You know what I'm saying? Because why does old girl got uh, or, uh, G? <laughs> and then people looked at the, the diss tracks. And the lyrics do look kind of like a double entendre to say that Kelsey, S H O T, M E G. She like, got the G S R, bro. You don't got no G S R on you unless you were in, in stupid close proximity, and I mean like stupid, like, like for real. Or y'all always always on some um, shatas that night, cause bro, let's not let's not let, let's let's keep it a buck. Most people, when they drive the boat, like Meg be doing, if there's a, uh, it's going to go off, bro. Yeah. It's going to go off, bro. You see them videos of people overseas where stuff's more relaxed. They be, Why? and you know, everything that goes up got to come down. Other places, though, they do not even like grasp that. They be flagging each other and all, pointing like, bro, it's crazy. Like, the world is a crazy place. No, it really This is. wouldn't even have been a case other places. No, it wouldn't. It's just because they're celebrities, and that's why I'm you saying. did what? Kelsey's an easy scapegoat because she's not. Sit so, uh, my bad, y'all. So, this yeah, is Daniel. Kelsey Daniel. testifying that she did not shoot Meg. That was Puerto Rican, Daniel. Friend was back on the witness stand today at the Tory Lanez's felony assault trial. The rapper Damn. is accused of shooting men. She got shoulder pads. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> I would just need to put a selfie. Icon. Icon. Eight. No crumbs. She needs some spikes on them. <laughs> Icon. She's like Mad Max, Max villain. On today's testimony. Megan Thee Stallion's former best friend, Kelsey Harris, took the stand like, again uh, today to finish her testimony. Bro. I'm sorry, I'm focusing in the fashion, but no, like the blazer has an has an with, emblem with, with the, the channel, channel seven. Name. What? 
Are you for real? She should have put it on like, the panel, man. And then she has the freaking soft girl, quote unquote, uh, Latina appropriation, she black girl chain. appropriation. I'm, I'm feeling for it. It might not even be about appropriation. She might be one of us. I don't know. But I, I'm chain. loving her look regardless. Anyway, back to the topic. She needs a hair Yesterday, she appeared to have almost no memory of what happened that late July night in 2020. What? Today, she said the same thing again. She does have immunity in this case, and that was brought up a lot today by both the prosecutors and the defense. Immunity. Yes. By the fact that she's she does have I immunity. Guess that might be the motif, not the not the fourth or the. Uh... <laughs> she has immunity, but she is not exempt from perjury. So no right, just keeping that. Nah, I already said she's changing your story, bro. Like, quote: I honestly do not remember when asked to recall any of the details from that night. But Harris did say she felt a lot of pressure, saying multiple times, "I did not shoot Meg." We saw a few other witnesses today, a surgeon who operated on Megan's foot after the shooting, saying they removed bullet fragments from both of Megan's feet. Those x-rays of her feet... And that's for everybody out there that says she didn't really get shot. Bro, once I seen the Ayala, we watched it on here, yes, and they took did. the ads away. I was like, dang, that was real. Like, there I was like, that really actually that looks like... Because, you know, um, seeing some stuff, you know what I'm saying? That looked like that. For it sure. Did. It really did. It looked little and big in different places. And Shown in court today. And a criminalist from LAPD who analyzed some of the evidence in this case took the stand, confirming gunshot residue was found on both. Tori, stop bringing your jits to freaking trial. Stop bringing your jits to the show. Stop bringing your jits to the war show. It does not dude. make us he's sympathize for, his, for you, he's bro. For his life. Bro, you need to fight for it. You've been fighting not for your dude. life he's like every for month, your bro. Life. You would have brought your jits too. Okay, no. hold on, cause nah, we were we were, cause you, that was some real. I would bring my jet. Lanes and Kelsey Harris. Harris says she has not seen Megan since on the night of the shooting, and has like only talked to her on the phone once, despite the fact that they were once as close as sisters. Harris also made it clear today that she feels betrayed by her former best friend. Mm. She was excused, but there is a chance she could be called back. The trial picks up again tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. I would, too. I'd be like, bro, I'm a normal ad person. Like, and people keep trying to bring up, oh, Kelsey did a diss track. Bro, Kelsey is not a rapper. I've made a few rap songs in my day. I'm not a rapper. And it's kind of, like, embarrassing when you're not a rapper. I'm pretty sure Kelsey's embarrassed by what she did. Like, it's, like, chill. She's not Nicki Minaj or Cardi B or or Glorilla or, <laughs> like, <laughs> Chill, bro, it's like there was something about glass, but that's why I used to think before I saw the pictures, I was like, that could have very well been a negligent discharge for sure, especially if they were playing it. Why? Kelsey said that the whole glass narrative came out because Meg's team told her that she got glass in her foot. Mm. So that's how that whole thing came out. Because she was trying to save Tori at first. Everybody mm -hmm. was trying to save Tori at first. Yeah, it was crazy, bro. So, so how the table? We'll the we'll keep watching. Table. Um, and this will be one of those things where if you guys know, you know, and if you know, you'll know what we're talking about. We're not going to be showing clip after clip after clip because this is going to be a thing. So please watch if you're interested. And when you're done watching for the week, come here and we can act like we're friends talking on the phone about this week's trial because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out there's going to be a lot of stuff stay tuned stay tuned i should post that and think it's bruh any of y'all in the chat who ever got your ass whoop would you rather have your ass whoop or get your hair cut that you've been growing out Bro, honestly, bro, I would rather have nothing happen, but if you were in an, a in a situation like that, what would you have rather have done? I would rather had just, you know, got my little spanking. There you go. I just wanted you to say it. Day, I just wanted you to say because she said no. You think she not lying? Hi. Do you feel traumatized? No. Do you feel like I abused you? No. Do you feel like this? form of discipline was a lot better than any other form of discipline like physical